Hello everyone, it's Dare. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Dear Diary is at it again. I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with them or subscribed to their channel, but they have been flooding the YouTube algorithm with cringy Dear Diary videos about crazy, weird, and random stories. So I thought, since we are now in February, the month of love, that we should react to a crazy love story on here. Even just the picture of it just says trauma, love, and is the story even true? Hey everyone, um, it's Editing Dare here. Yes, hi, I'm editing. I know this isn't the most glorious light, but I messed up. <laughs> I started to film this video and I guess for some reason I forgot to hit start. So we're gonna watch the first half of the video with me dressed like this because I have been moving, things have been crazy. So enjoy the video with me while I sit here and chit chat at you guys. Um, don't forget, if you guys don't already know, I've been posting my Amazon wish list since I just moved into my own apartment. It is going to be great and fantastic, but I literally spent a lot of money just getting the apartment. <laughs> Hi, you gonna be in it? I spent a lot of money getting the apartment and um, getting some of the basic things that I need. So if you could help me out with some of the other things, they're listed on my Amazon wish list. I will put the link in the description down below and my new PO box. So let's get started on this video. Miss Josephine. Hi, Josephine. I thought I had found the love of my life Aww. when really I found a person that would tear my entire family and my life apart. Hmm. I grew up in a nice neighborhood with my mom, my dad, and my brother. Okay. My family is... Why does her family look so angry from the start? Like, they're all just standing there like... Incredibly intelligent. But I've always been the black sheep. Aww. In a family of doctors, being a painter is underappreciated, to say the least. I guess now it's actually better than ever to be in the arts program because I feel like there's a little bit more support, but I've always felt like any art majors or musical theater or anyone who's artistic usually doesn't get a lot of support. It's just kind of the way it is. I've always dressed a bit goth and my family hasn't hesitated to make it clear that they hate it. Mm. I'm really lucky because right out of high school, I got a job as a background artist for a publishing company. Wow. I got to spend all day drawing. I mean, that's exciting. how great is that? That's really exciting that she already has a job right out the gate doing what she loves. And you'd think the family would support her just because she already has something good going for her. And it seems like it's going well, you know? She's making money, doing her thing. Her family should definitely support her with that. Unfortunately, my family didn't think so. Hmm. The pay wasn't really enough to live on my own. So I still lived with them after high school. Aside from my great career, I was a little lonely. Aww. My mom was on my case about not having a boyfriend. And honestly, I kind of thought she was right. I didn't want to end up like a cat lady. Aww. I mean, all my friends were getting married and buying houses. That's typical that like everybody on your Facebook or on your social media is getting engaged and getting a house. Don't rush yourself just because other people are, you know, in a good spot with their relationship. Just enjoy the smooth ride, you know, take your time. There's literally no rush. So I took the plunge. I signed up for a dating app. <laughs> Cinderella. The minute I saw his profile, I was sold. Hmm. He was handsome and he had all my favorite things in his profile. Interesting. He loved the same shows I loved. He dressed the same as me. And it even seemed like he had the same sense of humor. His name was Ash, and I was almost instantly in love. We talked. Interesting. I will say that I think this story, obviously it's gonna be the dad, because he put in all the things that she has in common with this individual. We already, we already kind of know that, um, the, I mean, the title is in, you know, it, it's there. So we all kind of know that the, the dad is gonna pretend to be the boy, and you'd think that the girl would be suspicious that like, oh my God, all my favorite things, this guy has all the same like favorite things as me, you know? Like he likes this band, he likes this type of music, he dresses this way, like you should always date somebody who's like a little bit different than you and if somebody has obviously all these things in your profile or in their profile that's the same, there's, you know, it's kind of fishy. 
constantly told me how beautiful I was, how smart I was, how much potential I had. Hmm. Every hour of the day, I felt warm and loved. For the first time ever, I had someone I could really tell my problems to. Yikes. Granted, I've already seen this story, so I kind of know what's going to happen, but yikes. 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 I told him about my struggles with my parents accepting my career path. I told him about my hopes and dreams for the future. I started to be glued to my phone, waiting for the next message from him. Hmm. On September 18th, he asked me to be his girlfriend. For a few days, it felt like my life was complete. Jeez. I mean, sure, I hadn't met him yet, but that was because he lived a few hundred miles away. He swore once he got a car, he would move up to be with me. Every day after work, I would immediately go home to message him. Ugh. I had to, because if I didn't answer, he would get concerned. At first, it was really cute. He just wanted to know I was safe. He wanted to know I still loved him. Slowly, my friends started to disappear. They were tired of me never hanging out. But Ash pointed out something I had never considered. My friends weren't even good for me. He told me they were constantly putting their art in front of mine. Hmm. Then Ash started to point out other things. The fact that my job was never going to pay enough for me to survive. He told me what he said I needed to hear. That I wasn't a good enough artist to make it. There's no such thing as not making it in a freaking art degree. You don't have to be the most famous or the most popular at what you do in life. That's just, that's not even a thing in like the business world. Like you can't ever be the best. So I can't believe that he would even say that to her. Somebody that doesn't even know her, even though it actually is her dad, but still like, ugh, the story makes me angry. After, he messaged me saying how much he loved me. Mm. If I went to school for something that made money, we'd be able to have a house and a family soon. So I quit my job. Like she worked so hard to have that fun art job. Ugh. Go to veterinary school. Immediately after, Ash told me that my clothes weren't professional enough to make it as a vet and that he wasn't attracted to me dressing like a child. When I told him he had always loved my clothes, he told me I was acting crazy as a loon. Soon, it was like everything I said was crazy. If I talked about a show we both liked, he told me it was terrible. If I played music for him that I enjoyed, he told me he had never heard it before. Soon, I felt like I didn't even know who I was. Duh, because it's not him, he doesn't exist. And the term crazy as a loon is so dated. Like no one says that these days. They call you psycho. <laughs> I was wearing polo shirts and going to vet school. Was I even Josephine anymore? Hmm. But I loved Ash. My friends were gone. My family had always been weird towards me. My old art coworkers were gone. Aww. I had no one. Sad. Except for him. So I was alone. desperate to meet up with Ash in person. I needed a physical connection. But he was dodging my calls. He never answered the phone. Whenever I asked him to visit, he would leave me hanging. I started to be bitter towards him. I told him I was afraid he was catfishing me. And he came back with his signature phrase, You're crazy as a loon. Ugh. One day... I told Ash I wanted to drop out of vet school. Yeah. It wasn't the right fit for me. Good. Later that night, I was preparing to tell my parents. At dinner, my dad told me he wasn't going to pay for me to live with them if I dropped out. I froze. I hadn't mentioned anything about dropping out of veterinary school. For all they knew, I was loving school. Oh. I accused my dad of reading my messages. I mean, he had to be. But that's when the bomb dropped. This is what I'm telling you guys. Like I said, 
The phrase is dated, the dad's obviously behind it, as we can see by the title, but now I'm gonna pick up where the initial reaction should have taken place, so the second half of this will actually match the beginning of this video. I know it get kinda weird, I'm so sorry about that you guys, but please don't forget, check out my Amazon link down below, help me move in, I appreciate you all so much, and back to the rest of the video. My room, my dad called me crazy as a loon. Yay! It was him! It had been him all along. He was Ash. That's why he hadn't called me or met up with me. I felt absolutely disgusted. Crying, I ran to my mom. I told her everything. My relationship with Ash, dad catfishing me as him. For once, my mom was on my side. She and dad had a massive fight while I hid in my bedroom. Mm. I was too embarrassed and hurt to be seen. My dad stormed out of the house to stay at a hotel. For a few days, I did nothing but lay in bed and eat. That's gotta be like really extremely uncomfortable. Like when you're usually like texting somebody and especially in like a flirty way, could you imagine that being your dad or like your mom? Like that's awful. God, I hope this story isn't true just for like the sake of this character. Like, ugh. Like, ugh. I don't, ugh. I don't even want to think about it. It dawned on me that my dad had manipulated me to do everything he wanted. Yup. To change my clothes, my interests, my career path, even my personality. After a few days, I had to let it out. I sent Ash the meanest message of all time. I typed that I knew who I was. I was a strong, independent person who was allowed to like what I liked and be who I was. Yeah! He couldn't change that. Get it. I hit send. And I heard two notifications Block. go off in the house. Block. On the kitchen table, my mom and brother's phones went off. I wanted to throw up. I looked down to confirm my fear. My whole family had Ash's account. Whoa, that's cr okay. I didn't see that coming. <sighs> Ugh, that's yeah, yikes. Time it had just been my family laughing behind my back. When my mom and brother both came into the kitchen and saw the look on my face, they knew they were caught. They tried to apologize. They told me they just wanted what was best for me. This is so cringy. Like, ah. Oh, like, why, dear diary, you gotta hit me with such good twists? Like, do you guys understand why I'm like not addicted to watching these videos, but I definitely do enjoy watching them every once in a while? Like, they're very entertaining, and then they hit you with something like that. It's like, oh, I can't even imagine. I don't even want to think about like my family like reading through messages I send to people. That's just like, yuck. I will say though, I do have a story, well, while we're paused here, I do have a story that kind of like rings close to this, obviously not nearly as close, but when I was growing up, um, the family that I did live with, the other half of my family, really did try to like manipulate me as well to like not do certain things that I really liked and tried to really like change me and make me just kind of like another regular girl. Uh, not to, it sounds kind of dumb and weird, but they, I lived in a house where um, there was actually had a lot of like stepsisters and stuff and I was kind of like the only one that did a lot of like musical theater and like singing, like that was my priority. I was never really like good at school. Um, I, I just like never had good grades and I would be always compared to them. Like I was always told that like, why don't I get good grades like this kid and why aren't I like this person? And like they tried to like manufacture friends for me that I had like nothing in common with. To me, it was fine. Like I appreciate them trying to make me friends, but like trying to manufacture friendships for me, trying to manufacture what I do out of like school was just weird and them like trying to tell me to be someone else just really resonates with this story because her family obviously wants her to do something different. And to me, it's like, I obviously turned out okay because my parents didn't go this far. They didn't try to like make me do something crazy or like, you know, online date me, you know, they didn't go that far. But 
I, I do kind of understand where the girl's coming from, where she feels alienated and like the black sheep in her family, because I too at one point was a black sheep. And someday I'll go into more of the details about like my upbringing and why it was so like all over the place. But for now, we're gonna get back to the story and find out how it ends. Realized that wasn't going to work? They told me I couldn't survive without them and that they wouldn't support me if I went back to my old ways. I wanted to scream at them. I wanted to tell them how absolutely horrific they were. But I didn't have that fight in me anymore. I knew it wasn't going to change the control they had to have over me. So, I just, I left. I mean, my whole family had pretended to be a man just to get me to change myself. I liked who I was. The fact that they went so far just to make me someone different made me realize I didn't need them. It took me a long time to heal after that. I took out all my savings and moved to a brand new city. It was really scary at first. It seemed like every night I was crying, picking up my phone to text Ash, and then realizing he didn't actually exist anymore. But honestly, for the first time, I felt like I was able to be myself and be proud of that. I recently started doing art again, like I love. I never knew how fulfilling it would be to just do what I've always wanted to do. I might even have enough money to buy a house in the next few years. The ash portion of my life was painful. But it's taught me that I shouldn't change myself for anyone. I'm proud of who I am even if my family isn't. And that's kind of like the message I was trying to convey earlier, that, you know, be yourself, who cares what anyone else thinks. And honestly, I think she should have left her family situation a lot sooner. Yeah, it probably would mean her picking up like a waitressing job or another job somewhere else, but you know, to put yourself in a healthier place, you know, and, and make yourself new friends. I think her picking up and moving was obviously what was best for her. But I, I do think she shouldn't have tolerated their behavior for that long. You know, once she found out, I think she should have just left, like, instantly, moved on with her life, and just, you know, decided to be your own person, you know? Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching Dear Diary with me. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. There's a lot of you that click on these videos and actually watch them which is amazing, but please don't forget to support the channel Dear Diary because they're the ones who do all of the work. I'm just reacting to it and like starting a conversation with you all. Um, please give them, you know, like a subscribe, subscribe to them, give them some love. Um, I really do appreciate all the hard work they put into these videos. And I'm very curious as to find out if some of these videos are like real. I'm assuming they are because they're not like earth shattering, but they are, they do get you with that good writing, you know, it makes it seem, um, very entertaining. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a magical day and I always hope magical things happen to you. Bye everyone. I'll see you in the next one.